Salutare tuturor și bine v-am găsit la continuarea din storiul Fontaine din Genshin Impact și să... Uh, da, mă iertați, puteți să mă și... Nu, glumesc, nu faceți chestia asta. Uh, glumesc. Uh, bun, de... iertați m-am făcut o pauză de două săptămâni jumătate, cred că trei, două săptămâni jumate. Am avut gripă, mâncava și viața voastră. De fapt, nu am avut gripă, am avut uh, COVID. The palais is right up ahead. Come on. Shut up, Navia. Așa. Am avut gripă, COVID, poate văd ce mi-au zis uh, medicii. COVID mi-au zis medicii că am avut. Și da, dacă stai ca legul m-am pat, să tot, să tot ai stare să filmezi. You know what I mean? Să tot ai stare să filmezi dacă stai ca legul m-am pat. Morța să-i chitară sau ce? Așa. Ne-a venit un eveniment, ceva de aniversare, ne-au dat 70 de mii de chestii, a, asta. <laughs> Simpatică chestia asta. În fine, dacă dă demiză, nu cred. Hai să vedem istoria mai departe. Hai că noi n-am ajuns de 4.1, noi că suntem la jumatea la 4.0, să te bine. 4.1 s-a stat cu o săptămână, jumate, două și eu sunt, da, lasă-ți așa. Let's see. Am crezut că este clorin pentru secundă. <laughs> yeah. Am chiar să caut un alt drac, nu mai suport. Hold! Please state your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. N-am făcut chestia asta deja. Eu pot să mă încerc că fac chestia asta deja. A, nu am văzut. Never mind. Never mind! Pe cineva l-a mâncat undeva și a văzut ceva. De plictiseară, da? Ok? Ha! This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. Zo. Hey! Don't you recognize us? Ha? Who are you? Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. Să mor tu. Dacă era furina ta cei din gură. See? They've got great discipline too. Ah, foarte mult, foarte mult. Yep, yep. I even can tell. If you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. Caramba, se 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 No, no. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. It's all coming back to me now. We're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh. Is that even a thing? Hmm. Of course. Don't worry. We're here on official business. You can trust us. All right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Ah, thanks so much. Please come in. Don't you recognize me? Your mother. I'm <coughs> Chen or Nimic. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm an Arcon. Oh, hello. I touch with that. It's all right. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Uh, so you're not mad at us? 
We are looking for a man called Vache. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. Ah, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. Ah, well, I'll do it. I'll do it. Ose dore za vrav radova, ale le odobni. Posle da vraš postoji jednu. Unfortunately, I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Traveler, what if it was really just a dream? Nature that. Is that so? All right then. Thank you so much, Monsieur Neuvillette. We'll take our leave now. Mm hmm. Our leave. That's a very tech mad drama, Jane Chipper. Ahem. Da, a trebuit-o sa bati apropo ori, hai, asuma-ti. Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. We deeply regret his passing. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillette? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. Da, omosta nu prea prost. Omosta e atât de neutral. Outside, dar nu stai seama de sentimentele lui, adică poți să faci pădracul în patru, poți să facă ce vrea el, că tu nu dai, tu nu poți să-ți dai seama că omul ăsta vrea sau nu vrea să, cum ne zice, că omul ăsta vrea sau nu vrea să își ceară scuze sau că e furăsă, nu, am numele de acolo și doar aceeași față că e furăsă, că e fericit, că e trist. Dar numai că dacă e trist se întâmplă chestia outside. The buildings. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. Încă n-am înțeles de ce nu repară chestia asta la dialoguri, dar caracterul vorbește până într-un punct și dacă e o pauză, de la tot vorbește, dar sunetul se pune după ce tace din gură. E, na, să zicem, lasă așa. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. Actually... E trebuie să vezi pe cineva cu o steluță în ochi, cu ochi scripitor și cu lacrimi. Îmi sorry, Miss Navia. Da, da, să observă că e, dar... Lasă-și. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh, well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. 
My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, rain. It's raining. You're right. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. Wasn't. Strange. It wasn't sunny. It was night. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. Did you think of something? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. Oh? Wait. You don't mean... So you're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? Yeah. And if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. <laughs> you're completely right. How did I not connect the dots earlier? All right. Let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure. Yeah, we're gonna make progress for sure this time. Do you want to go with me now, or do you want to head over by yourself later? Motive, telephone. No brasta kamu. No brasta pa silent. Rešaj po vibraci. Suna kareva. A kolosta. Great. Let's go then. Eh? Ah, no, it's a fountain. It's a fountain, but I just think I'm in Sumer somewhere. I don't see where the bridge is. I think it's in Nazuma. Don't ask me why. Hey, the reporter. Nah, that's the base of the navy. Where is the monument? to be so surprised. While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosula's headquarters. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, and conquest. It symbolizes Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. It's immortal. And Paimon thought you were bluffing when you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past. Paimon was confused why a group with such a history would live in the sewers. But now that Paimon has seen this ship for herself, she's been convinced. Well, Poisson is where Spina di Rosula began, after all. It's our main base, our home. Chat, o mica parantez, raidam ca mea este, asa, nu ne avea chestia de desu. I would expect that. Ah, uite-l. 
Așa, uh, a, da, e n-a putut să mă ajut. Mă las să spun să-mi doare? Da, zic. Așa. Uh, bun. O mică paranteză de chat. Legat de seria cu contul de 5 stelele volum 1 pentru story. O să fac story-ul uh, până în sumerul inclusiv și după aia în sumerul o să mă opresc și după aia din sumerul o să fac tot off-camera pentru că Fontaine îl facem deja aici. Unde naiba trebuie să dă alu V. Așa. Deci mie pot să iau. Bun. Uh, pentru că Fontaine story îl facem deja aici și nu cred că mai are rost să-l fac de 5 ori. Știi ce zic? Um, ce să mai facem din nou, probabil o să mai repete, probabil, o să fie storiurile caracterelor complete pe contul celălalt, adică storiurile astea. Da, mi s-ar încărca. Astea. Bine, sunt mai multe, dar pui mei. <laughs> Uite, mai avem aici Lenny, Gavlet. Le fac pastea și mesilă și pe asta parcă îl făcusem, dar nu știu, nu mi s-a pus ended. Nici asta, că asta mai am puțin în el. Asta e la altă mesilă. E, n ar trebui deblocat, dacă nu le faci, dar nu, ne, pui mei. Ce n-ai vrea să întâmplă? Stați așa, ce? Ce se întâmplă? Ce e aici? Ce? Alo. Semi-automatic forging. What the workshop? Radiant harvest effect. Ați de aia mai Bun, where do we have to go? Ah, da, nu vă. Da, deci o să fac story-ul până în sumerul inclusiv. Și după o să așteptăm Natlanul, vara viitoare. Fire zone-ul și cred că o să le continuăm după main account, dacă sunteți de acord. O să le continuăm de pe contul ăsta. Meluz, we're back! Apologies for the wait, Demoiselle, and our most important partners. You said before that you still had some business at the court. What brings you back to Poisson so quickly? Uh, about that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the primordial sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. Both were what you'd call impossible murders. Could you tell us a bit more about what happened before? Yeah, of course. Many years ago, something called synth began to gain popularity in Poisson. At a glance, it was a kind of drink that could excite your mood and produce many pleasant hallucinations. Okay. Pardon, I'm going to put the space and I'm going to put the tab. Wait! Didn't that guard guy who turned into water also mention that the primordial water could be used to produce some kind of potion? Yes, he did. Considering what we know now, it's almost certain that synth is created using water from the primordial sea. If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects, such as losing the ability to focus or control your emotions. So. And if you were to stop drinking it completely, you'll experience flashes of paranoia and anxiety while lacking energy to do anything. It's an extremely dangerous substance. As he oversaw Poisson, my father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. Boss's uncompromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath, but no matter how much they threatened or bribed him, he refused to yield. Not only that, the boss became determined to find the mastermind behind the synth operation and put an end to the problem once and for all. Yes, but the enemy was very cunning. <laughs> so he could never get anything out of the dealers, all of whom only sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. Recognizing that, my father decided to contact the dealers in secret and cultivate personal relationships with them. Finally, he was able to convince someone to become his informant. The man's name was Jacques. He felt greatly ashamed about his work 
after seeing many families destroyed by synth abuse. <laughs>